Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video and I know you haven't seen me in a while so I apologize for that. School has been really really hectic. Uh, my voice does sound a little husky so I do apologize for that in advance. I kind of sort of lost my voice over the weekend, a whole lot of screaming and shouting. And my voice sounds a little bit funny, but hopefully by the time that I release this video, it'll be much, much better and you guys will be able to hear me better. Now, I've been getting requests to do a more of a casual look that I would normally wear to school. And for those of you who know, I normally don't wear a lot of makeup to school. There are even days where I don't wear makeup at all when going to school. Like just today, I didn't have any makeup on. And I don't know if you guys will notice the difference. I am using a ring light for the first time ever. Um, for those of you who do follow us on social media, you guys know that we recently got a ring light. So we're just gonna try recording differently and hopefully the makeup showcases better with the ring light. I know that the natural lighting is amazing, but we're trying the ring light as well, just so that the colors of the makeup can showcase a little better. Cause I know some people um, struggle like with differentiating the colors on camera versus in you know real life or whatever like I know this color it's showcasing a little bit more orange on screen but it's a much more toned down brown nude and I'm obviously assuming it's because of the ring lights okay now I am doing I know when I scream my voice sounds better but when I don't scream it sounds completely tacky now I am going to do a laid back casual look that I do for you guys. This is my everyday makeup routine like this one it doesn't fail and a lot of the products that I use here are low end products. I only used one high end and that is obviously my setting powder. You guys will see that in this video my makeup literally takes like 20 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes is even a stretch, a good 15 to 20 minutes and that's because the makeup that I normally do, that's makeup when I'm going out with my friends but normally I just want something that I can just really put on and go because I'm someone who loves their sleep, I snooze down till the very last minute, like the 11th hour and then I have to like scurry to just get ready and get to work on time. So. This is the makeup look that I usually go for when going to school, when going to work. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching the video. Hi everyone. Now, most of the time I always wake up late. So I usually just wash my face in the shower and then I use the Nivea Irresistibly Smooth. Just to really put some lotion on my face because it tends to get dry. And funny enough, this works really great for my skin. Following that, I just used the NUX Lip Mousse and I actually got this from my sister. I love it so much and it's so great on my lips, especially in the winter time. Following that, guys, I normally just begin with my brows and I just take a spoolie that I got from Avon and brush them up. As you can see, I don't have like that much brows when it comes to my eyes, but I guess it's a good and a bad thing. So I get to fill them in however I feel like it. Then I follow in with this Maybelline Brow Wiz that I recently got and I think it's great. I've been using it so much. And I really like it because I normally don't have time to do dip down on my brows, so I just need something quick and on the go. And this is a great pencil. And and I like that I can get a really natural brow finish with this specific pencil as I can brush out the consistency of what I want. I can really carve out the type of brow that I want and brush out any excess product. And normally just put in a bit at the beginning of my brow and just brush it out with a spoolie. And to clean up my brows, I normally use any concealer. It ranges between my two favorite, the LA Girl Concealer and the MAC Pro Palette Conceal, Conceal Palette. And that's normally what I just do to clean up my brows. For foundation, guys, I'm going to be using this LA Girl Foundation. You guys know I did a review on this a while ago. And I've been using it ever since I purchased it. It's such an amazing foundation. It blends really well with my skin. And I've literally been using it as an everyday foundation. It's really, really reasonable. And I honestly just love this foundation on my skin right now. It gives me a very dewy, flawless finish. And it's literally become my everyday foundation. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about how great this foundation is and move on to the next one. To conceal, guys, I'm going to use my normal Allego 
Pro Concealer and I normally just use the color Warm Honey if I want a very highlighted finish but in most cases I use Fawn especially when I'm doing a very natural look I use the color Fawn and put it on all the parts of my face where the sun will normally hit my face just for highlighting and just to really cover up any dark spots I might have. At my face, I'm going to be using the Skin Mineralized Finish in the color Dark. You guys know I swear by this powder. Normally, I skip the baking process because I never have enough time. But this does cover up my face really, really well. To bronze up my face, I've recently tried this Palladio bronzer and it's been really really amazing it's like a great dupe for that bobby brown bronzer that i normally have it literally gives the exact same finish i will say one thing the bobby brown one's a little bit creamier but this is a great 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 alternative guys i've been using this for a couple of weeks now and i just love the finish that it gives me i will be contouring my nose in this video but i don't normally contour my nose but i just felt like my nose looked a little fat in this video <laughs> To highlight my face, I'm going to be using this Betty Luminizer Highlight from The Balm Cosmetics. And if you guys have seen my previous videos, you guys know I've been raving about their highlighters. Their highlighters are really, really great and they're great alternatives for your other bigger brands. I really love the finish it gives me. It also gives me that very golden almost dewy like finish which i really really enjoy and this is a great product for me on an everyday basis i sometimes feel like gold deposit is a little too shiny so the balm really gives me that finished look and then i just take my nyx contouring kit and use the lightest and darkest brown shade just to really use as a transition color i don't do much on my eyes but i do like to have a transition color on my eyes and then i just take my favorite mascara from essence and just put a little bit of mascara on my eyes look 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 who popped up in the video this is great because i just like my eyelashes to pop i don't have big eyelashes so i really really like this mascara to line my lips i'm taking this la girl lip liner in the color chocolate and just putting it on the perimeter of my lips then taking this nude liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Ashton I normally just put that around my lips it will look a little orange on camera because of the lighting but it's actually a much more nude brown and that is the finished look guys that is normally what I do for a natural makeup everyday look Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. And that is it, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I am so sorry if my voice got in the way or sounds so funny. But this is the look that I do. My everyday look, my go-to look. I recently just purchased this from Anastasia. So I'm really, really loving this color. It's like just blending in so well with my eye look. Um, on days where I feel really, really like... Preppy, I'll probably put on lashes, but that's hardly ever, especially if I'm going to work or I'm going to school. So guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much. You guys will be tuning into more videos with the ring light. I don't know. What do you guys think of uh, the ring light? Do you guys prefer natural lighting? Do you guys prefer a ring light? Do you guys want more videos with this lighting that will showcase the color and the contour better? Or do you still prefer the natural lighting? Just let me know, comment, and yeah, guys, see you soon. See you in our next video. Bye.